Hi, this is Venkat. Actually, I'm from uh, Kashi Infotech Company. Apart from that, uh, you are able to see me in wikidiki.com. So we are going to talk about Ajira. So Ajira company interview questions, we are going to see it now. People going ahead, uh, this is our YouTube channel, Wikidiki Code. So this is our YouTube channel, Wikidiki Code. You can click this subscribe button and click this bell symbol to get regular notification about our company. This YouTube channel will have a lot of projects, technology informations, and apart from that, interview tips. Let's move on to Ajira. Ajira focus mostly in coding parts. So mainly they are into the coding area. Obviously, you'll be having round one, which is purely a coding part. Maybe they may ask aptitude, but the main focus is coding round. If you clear the first round, you'll be having advanced coding in the second round. And after clearing it, you'll be having a technical interview followed by a HR interview. This pattern may change. It depends on the colleges and also the number of audience or number of uh, people looking for job, so number of attendees. Okay, let's move on to the first question. The first question is like, um, how to find the frequency of a character in a string? I got a variable A. A variable A. Okay, I got a string, Venkat. This is a string. How many occurrences of this character in this particular string is the question they have asked. For this, we are going to write a C program. So, I have used a variable frequency to find how many frequencies are they. So, the logic is look through it, check for this character. If it is there, increment this value. So, this is the simple logic we are going to apply. Okay, let's move on. Over here, I got, um, I got like, uh, so enter the string. I got Venkat as a string. You are able to string. So, the condition is like, uh, it will check for this slash zero, which is nothing but the end of the string. Every string will be ending with this slash zero as the end of the string. Okay, so loop through each until it reaches this end. That's the logic we are going to apply. So enter the character. Enter the character. So I'm making a for loop. A for loop i equal to zero, and I'm finding like uh, the string of i because this is string. So this is a string of zero, string of zero, string of one, string of two, three, four. 5 and that one is end of the character the string of 6 that is end of so string of i is not equal to is not equal to slash 0 until that loop through it loop through it if the character a the character a ch is equal to double equal to the string of i in that case increment the value of frequency frequency plus plus so this is the one I gave okay if the condition satisfied the increment will be happening now string of zero so this is the first loop string of zero which is nothing but V when catch which is not equal to a a is not equal to V so down no this won't work out so the frequency values zero still now str of one which is nothing but e e okay so a is not equal to e so it won't work out the value is zero once again i got a string of two n it won't work out string of three and it's going on the process will be going on and considering zero one two three four so in string of four you are able to see the value i'm getting a and a is equal to a obviously the condition satisfied you got the value as 1, frequency is 1. And the next one, T, it won't work out. The condition is not satisfied. So afterwards, it will raise the end of the character. It will raise the end of the character. And the condition is dissatisfied. It will come out, the value is 1. So the value of uh, the number of characters available in the string is getting printed. So this is how you will be writing the program. Let's move on to the next question. Program to find the ASCII value. So, obviously, I am trying to take a character. So, I am taking the input as A. What is the ASCII character? It is 96. This is percentage C and this is percentage D. That is it. The game is over. So, I got an input of string here. Okay. I am trying to display it. C, I am printing it in percentage C, which will give the value C or A. Sorry. A. Which is, so I am giving the input as A here. And... Uh, the character, I am trying to print it as a percentage D, which is nothing but the equivalent is 96. Okay, this is how you are able to make it out. This is a program 
they may ask in a different manner too okay but this is the base program you'll have it okay let's move on to the next program it's a C program to find the length of the string okay so to find the length of the string obviously considering this is a string okay so loop through it using a while loop or for loop until it reaches your slash zero the end of the character so this is a very simple logic I'm going to work it out let's see okay so I put here um, a string yes so yes is equal to Venkat obviously you'll be having slash zero in the end okay so I'm putting a while loop while s of i so obviously i equal to zero i have to initiate it here so i is equal to zero i have added this line here and you can have j equal to zero also j equal to zero also okay so i equal to zero and j equal to zero so s of i not equal to the end of the character until that j increment it and i increment it j is nothing but the length of the string so I am to calculate the length of the string. So obviously it will be traversing. So yes of a zero. So this is how it will work. Yes of a zero. Okay. Not equal to s of zero is nothing but v. So v is not equal to slash zero. So i becomes one and j becomes one. So j becomes one and i becomes one. Okay. The loop is moving on once again s of 1 because i is uh, i is 1 here s of i 1 here so which is nothing but e not equal to slash 0 okay yes the condition becomes 2 here okay so once again it will loop through now once again it will loop through obviously you'll be having s of 2 which is nothing but n okay n okay not equal to slash 0 yes so 3 divided by 3 so you'll be getting j as 3 you'll be getting j as 3 and i as 3 okay it will be looped through it so it will have 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay and afterwards you'll get this value here okay it's not equal to okay this is equal to obviously it will come out okay so it will come out Automatically, the value of i, which is 6, which is getting printed here. So, obviously, like, uh, there is a small mistake. I made it here once again. Okay, the mistake is like uh, you should have. This is the one. So, i equal to 0 and j equal to 0. You should put it. Okay, let's move on to the next program. Now let's talk about a very different program to reverse a string or to reverse a number. So this is the program I'm going to do it. Over here, I got 24 once again. I want it as 42. What is the logic? So give it, give this number. I want to reverse it. What is the logic? Maybe 24 percentage of 10, you will get 4. Okay. 4 into 10, you got 40 now. Have it with you okay now uh, 24 divided by 10 you will have 2 here okay so add this 2 with this one you will get 42 here so some logic we have to do with the modulus remainder and division you have to make it out i'll go with another question maybe it may you know, like go with other number so that it will be like uh, understandable for you i got 36 here 36 modulus of 10 you will have uh, uh, 3 or uh, 6 sorry remainder is 6 okay so this answer you need to multiply with the 10 you'll get 60 here okay 36 uh, divided by 10 you'll have 3 here divisor so 60 plus 63 you'll have so 60 plus 3 you'll have 63 36 becomes 63 here Okay, this is how the logic is. Let's move on how we can work it out. Okay, so this is the logic we are going to work it out as a program. Okay, as usual, I got the value as 24. In 24, this is my value 24. Okay, I need the remainder. So, the remainder is, I got the value 24. So, while 24 not equal to 0, loop through it. Loop through it once again. Okay, loop through it. 
I got the variable remainder which is nothing but uh, 24 percentage of 10 you got the value as uh, 4 4 as a remainder and the second number the 42 is the second number I want to receive it 42 is the uh, second number this is n okay second number is equal to I got the second number as 0 I initialize the value as 0 0 into 10 plus 4 okay into 10 plus 4 you got the value as the second number as 4 okay and I got the n value which is nothing but n is equal to n divided by 10 24 divided by 10 you will get the value as 2 okay checking out whether this 2 is not equal to 0 yes we will move to the next iteration once again okay now the value of remainder remainder is is equal to the n value is 2 here 2 modulus of 10 which is nothing but 2 once again and the second number previously second number is 4 so 4 into 10 plus the remainder 2 okay so it's 42 now n is equal to 2 divided by 10 which is 0 and once again you will look through 0 not equal to 0 it's not satisfied so it come out now i am trying to print the second number which is nothing but 42 which is this one so i gave input as 24 you got the value as 42 this is how you will be reversing the thing so this is the program to reverse a number Now, this is one of the frequent program they will ask in TCS in many companies they will ask this question how to reverse a string. Okay, this is one of the very familiar questions you should learn it. Okay, so what is the logic I am going to do it? I will have a string str which is having a winkert or something like that with a slash 0 in the end by default. And what I am trying to do is like I am going to reverse it. So the reverse string will be take this value put it here 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 and add this one okay this is the logic i'm going to do it so i got this as input i want this as output how we are going to do it that's the one i'm going to show you with a program okay so considering i got this string this is the input string i received this is the input string i received okay and i use the inbuilt function to find the length so considering one two three four five six so the length of the string is six so length is six now okay now what i'm trying to do is like i'll put a for loop for i is equal to the length minus one obviously you'll have i is equal to five i is equal to five and i greater than or equal to zero i minus minus I am reducing it. What I am trying to do is like a reverse a string. Reverse string of uh, I got the value j equal to 0. Okay. So j is uh, reverse string is 0. Is equal to string of i which is 5. Is equal. So semicolon I put it. Okay. I put this one as a j plus plus. Automatically it will increment. Or you can have j plus plus here also. I can have j here. I can have j plus plus here j here and j plus plus here okay obviously reverse of reverse string of 0 is equal to string of 5 which is nothing but t okay i got this one i got this one okay the next loop j becomes 1 here reverse string of 1 is equal to this one becomes a minus minus so it will become 4 here okay minus minus until it's 0 it will traverse so I got this a value this a value okay so this one is a value here the reverse string is a value here and afterwards reverse string of 2 is equal to this will become 3 here okay so 3 is nothing but k so this one is k now 
this is the one okay and a reverse string of now three incremented incremented okay so obviously n here n this is loaded here okay so let me rub you a little bit so that i can go ahead so reverse string of reverse string of now four here four is equal to here over here it will become four once again so obviously zero one two three four so obviously you will have a this one will come oh sorry sorry it will be reduced right it will be coming so it will become one here okay so it's nothing but e it will print it and reverse string of the five so it will print it like this the next one v okay this is how the navigation will be happening and afterwards afterwards you got the reverse string as a return thing and finally you need to add this one manually so reverse string of i the i is incremented right okay the i is incremented so the value of i is now uh, length minus one so it is incremented it will become length so it's not i it's j sorry there is a small piece of correction we have to make it out in this program the small changes like over here it will be reverse string of j okay so considering i got uh, six as integer the seventh character seventh character should be slash zero i have added it manually and i'm printing the reverse string this is how the program will work you just note it down that's it uh, we got uh, a lot of questions uh, in this video and we are looking for more videos uh, the, for the same companies you can check in our youtube channel wikidigi code apart from that if you have any other companies uh, and if you're looking for a uh, job you can contact us we can prepare the videos for you and you can put it and uh, you can send an email to us kashu.info@gmail.com with the company questions uh, like uh, with the company name and other stuff so that we can help you on this and apart from that this is our websites so wikidigi.com and kashu info tech which which got lots and lots of interview questions you can go and check it out and lots of tutorials too apart from that, this is our youtube channel just go to the youtube channels and here over here you are looking into this wikidigi code and there is another channel wikidigi interview tips which got lots and lots of interview questions you just note it down and go to the youtube channel and check it out and apart from that kashu info tech is our company we are providing lot of job opportunities for the people who are looking for job we are providing training to them and we are getting job for them and also like uh, we gave job in our company you can contact us via the email id or through our numbers thank you